Okay, so if we pass this test case, then obviously, yes, we have learned at least that much. It isn't completely useless. Does our code pass any test case where we replace 7 with a different integer? Well, maybe not. If you replace 7 with a gigantic integer, something that you can't even store on your computer, it's so big, then you're probably not going to get the same behavior out of this test case as with something simple like 7. So we can't necessarily say this. I would say that is wrong. Now, our code passes many test cases where we replace 7 with a different, different integer. This is true. If we were to replace 7 with, say, 20, and replace it down here as well, then yes, this should behave essentially the same. And it should behave essentially the same for many, many integers. Certainly not integers that have very large storage space requirements, or maybe it doesn't store integers past a certain static typing. For example, if you have, if you're storing a type in your queue that is only only able to store very small integers, let's say shorts, which are typically much smaller, then yes, this won't work. So the question is, what exactly do we learn and how do we make test cases that represent a large number of other potential test cases? So we don't have to write a whole lot of very small, simple test cases.